And then there are these spotlights that don't actually appear to be coming from anywhere. I guess they're semi- no, that is not- or I guess it could technically be magnetic or robotic, but it looks like any other grid, but whatever. There's this guy, which is pretty easy because of the coins here. There's this next ice planet guy, which is pretty radical because, uh... Because it brings back the Space Junk Galaxy's magical pieces of space that fly to make platforms for you, which I thought were pretty cool. I uh, get it because they're ice cubes. They're actually regular pieces of space that do it too, just after this. Oops, spoilers. Sorry, guys. Okay, we... And shifting sand mini planet. Whoops, 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 whoops. I hate you so much, sand planet. What the heck? What the heck? That does not make sense. You can get out of quicksand. It is not some kind of unfathomably unbreakable substance. That, oh, I like that tower galaxy over there. But if I can ever freaking get to it because of the stupid shifting sand planet. Uh, whatever. Uh. Okay, let's go. Welcome to Galaxy Woohoo. There we go. And there is a save point here, so we are good for now. And it is possible to farm infinite one-ups here if you are so inclined, because there's this one-up that comes back every time you die, and a very easy place to die, and plenty of star bits. So there you go. All the pieces are in place. I will demonstrate for you, even though I could have saved myself there. It's not the most efficient way of farming lives. The most efficient way would probably be, uh... It's actually kind of tough. There are probably some really efficient ways I can't think of, but right now Sling Pod Galaxy seems good just because of its huge amount of star bits. And, okay, you can just get hit by that and go through here, although it's not a great idea because this is actually the most damaging place in the entire level because I like how lava doesn't kill you, but being crushed, okay, that I can... That I can accept, I guess. But I like how lava doesn't kill you, but sand does, which is the exact opposite of in Mario Sunshine. Okay, well, whatever. This game clearly doesn't want to accept sunshine as the canon it is. Whoopsie. That was less than it. Oh, uh, it's Bansai Bill making his triumphant return in the least entertaining way possible. He looks like the freaking Bullet Bills from Mario 64 and he doesn't do anything. He should have been in a regular level and he should have spawned out of nowhere like the good old fashioned Bansai Bill. Bonsai Bills. What? Why can't I jump on you, stupid bullet? Bah, even. Oh, they can actually break those which have star bits or coins or something probably inside of them. Bowser statues, that is. Probably should quit using pronouns when people don't know what I'm talking about, but whatever. Anyway, that was the end of the galaxy. It was kind of hard at some points, kind of. And oh, look, we're gonna have to fight Bowser Jr. before Bowser. Ah, when is Bowser still alive? You see me? Luigi! Go, oh, Luigi. Ha ha ha. Or, I'm sorry, ha ha. Bowser, didn't we just fight? It wasn't. Oh, look at how big that is. It's almost as big as a moon, almost. No, just kidding. It's not even comparable. By moon, I mean actual moon of a real planet, of course. It's more like the size of a small town cubed, I guess. It's not even that big. It's probably two or three or four or five or ten. Fit into a Rhode Island. <sighs> Whatever.